huge win, my friends, over the defending Super Bowl champs. Saints lose, Falcons lose, Carolina loses. Let's get a Buccaneers vibe check. Uh, how are we feeling? Yeah. I mean, we just needed to win, you know, obviously. You know, with the three-game skid we had, we were three in a row. It wasn't a good feeling. wasn't a good taste to knock out. It definitely was a, a good feeling, you know, to finally get a win and uh, change the, you know, the, 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 the dynamics in the locker room. Changes is that's what you're seeing. I'm hearing that, and I'm hearing turning point, and I'm hearing Tom Brady uh, slamming that table, and I just have a weird feeling about this team. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. How much more meaningful was it coming off a players-only meeting that I hear you were a keynote speaker in? Uh, it, was, it was real good. You know, um, kind of makes you feel like your message was received, in a sense. But, uh, you know, just a message that needs to be delivered, you know, just trying to get a feel of everybody, just trying to, you know, check the temperature of everybody, make sure everybody goal is still intact. You know, um, just me as a leader, you know, just trying to keep everybody upbeat, keep everybody positive and let them know, you know, the thing is far from over. You know, it didn't, didn't start the way we wanted it to start. Uh, but uh, like I always say, man, we got a lot of football left and I got a lot of confidence in the guys in the locker room. Yeah. So take me, I've never been in a players only meeting, of course, who, I need to know more about them. Cause everyone says, oh, we had a players meeting, blah, blah, blah. Who decides that you're having one? Is it like a, an email Zoom link? Or is it like a group text? Like, yo, meet me for protein shakes by the bleachers after practice. Like, how does it go down? Nah, I really just random, you know, just random. You know, you just, you know, some things not going good. You just grab a bunch of people. You know, you could talk to everybody, you know, personally, you could talk to everybody all together. And uh, that's what we try to do, man. We call ourselves brothers, and that's how brothers act. It clearly had an effect on your little brother, Devin White, because, yeah. I mean, how good must it have felt to watch him ball yeah. out against the Rams? It's always good, man. He knows he's a great player. I tell him he's a great player. So you can't let that outside stuff mess with you, man. You know, uh, obviously, the message was received, so he definitely uh, wanted the people to know that he's still Devin White. Me being 11 years in the league and dealing with a lot of things that I've dealt with, you know, I just try to, you know, just try to teach him and uh, just try to let him know how to deal with certain things. I think yeah. I'm doing a, a pretty good job and uh, I feel like he's uh, taking it really well. You are, you can tell, and the, and the difference from a week from before the Rams game to what we saw yeah. against the Rams, and I'm sure what we'll yeah. see this weekend against the Seahawks, it, you have a lot mm -hmm. to do with that. I hope you give yourself credit because your, your teammates certainly see it and they speak highly of you. But you, my friend, specifically, you lead, I do even know this, you lead all active players in solo tackles. Did you know that? No, I did not know that. You do. <laughs> you do. With 900, 908 solo, by yourself, you do it alone. Levante David, the do-everything linebacker, doing it for Tampa. There's someone on your team on offense we can't avoid here in this conversation. He's been doing it for 20 years, and it's Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. And you've yeah. spent like three seasons with him now, I think. What's the, mm -hmm. the one most important lesson that you've learned from him directly or just being around him? Just always being positive. He's a very positive guy, always encouraging. You know, he's never down. You know, uh, just having that competitive nature, you see the stuff that goes on, you know, on the sidelines, whatever. But after that, you know, he's back positive, back being himself. And uh, it just encouraged him to see. You're just trying to watch him from afar and just see how he carries himself and uh, just see how he handles adversity. And uh, you know, so far, so good. Yes. There are some Microsoft surfaces, those tablets, that yeah. would say, Levante, my life was lost. I was in the hospital. I'm a Microsoft service. <laughs> I was in the hospital for three weeks <laughs> after Tom threw me. But you're yeah. saying, are you saying that there's these moments that are incredibly competitive, but they don't matter? Yeah. People want to say, like, he's yelling at people. He's what it's yeah. really not how it's taken by teammates. Right. It's not, it's not taken that way. You know, it's in, it's a competitive edge that we all have. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when he's getting after with people, you know, shoot, I get after with people too. So uh, I just don't get captured doing it. So uh, it's just a, a competitive thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everybody receives it well. And uh, it's just uh, a, will, a will to win. And that's what he has. It was uh -huh. you and Bobby Wagner drafted yeah. in the year, played yeah. against each other Sunday. I'm looking for footage of the, you know, yeah. this is like the perfect Jersey swap dap up scenario. Two yeah. studs, two future Hall of Famers. I yeah. was scouring the internet. Did y'all not swap jerseys? 
he swapped jerseys already when he was in Seattle. So oh. uh, we did that before. Yeah, but uh, we send each other encouraging messages throughout the year and stuff like that. So uh, Bobby's a great dude, man. And uh, he definitely got who, who motivates me. We motivate each other to keep this thing going. Okay, so your next game, let's go ahead here. You're going up against yeah. the Seahawks, who are fire right now. Speaking of Seattle, right. it's in yeah. Germany. I want to get you set for your trip, um, because, and I, I learned all about Germany. I don't know if you've ever been okay. there before, but I'm going to I'm going to give you a scenario, and you have mm -hmm. to pick a teammate that you're going to do that scenario with. Okay, and you can't pick okay. Devin. Okay, I can't pick Devin. <laughs> can't pick Devin. So, <laughs> all right. You're on this. You're on this long plane ride over. You have to uh -huh. pick one teammate to sit next to and control the music. Who are you picking, and what are you listening to? I'll probably pick Carlton Davis because we're from the same neighborhood and like we kind of like some of the same music, Miami music, some of that fast type music. And then we could uh, probably uh, switch it up sometimes. You know, Carlton listens to some old school, he listens to gospel. So uh, we definitely uh, have a, a similar vibe on the music. I love it. I would pick the first, I would pick Todd Bowles. I think he would not talk. I think he wouldn't listen to music. I think he'd be quiet all the time. <laughs> yeah. I, like I love Todd Bowles. He's the best. Right. That's a, that's a great pick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's this thing in, I don't know if you're familiar, it's called the Audubon, okay? And it's this, yeah. it's crazy. I just found right? out, I just like, found out what that was. So what teammate would you want to drive down the Audubon with? I, I'll probably go Leonard. Leonard, Leonard, uh, Leonard kind of was a, a fast driver. He's a speed guy, sometimes he'd be pulling out at the, at the facility, going fast and stuff, so <laughs> I'll probably take, pick Leonard. Like, what kind of car? What kind of car y'all driving? What kind of car we driving? Should we drive a Ferrari? A Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Leonard yeah. Fournette and the Ferrari. That's a good one. Okay. So then they have this thing called Oktoberfest, and it's basically okay. like a big party. Beers on beers on beers on yeah. beers. Which teammate would you pick as your beer guzzling partner? Now Tom can throw him down. Hey, listen, listen. I can't just pick one person if you say that. It's a bunch of dudes. Go. I go Vita Vea. I go Pat O'Connor. I go Will Ghostin. <laughs> I go Jamel Dean. Okay. Levante, have you thought about uh, this before? That was really <laughs> crazy. Nah, nah, honestly, these are just guys who I've been out with and I know how they get down. <laughs> Vita Vea flew out your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Vita for sure. He's definitely be a number one. Uh, I love that. Okay, Germans are also famous for their food. They've got things like this, okay? It's called schnitzel. It's like a pork chop okay. bread, the whole thing, right? They've got okay. sausages, they've got pretzel. Who would, who would you eat your way through Germany with? Uh, eat my way, I should. I'll probably go Vita again. Akeem, Akeem Hicks. Okay, yeah, I could see that. Not Tom Brady. Yeah. Not Tom. Nah, definitely not Tom. You know, yeah, Tom, you know, that type of stuff. <laughs> okay, last one. This is later hose, and this is this outfit, right? I'm sure you've seen it before. Uh -huh. Which teammate would be most likely to wear this as their fit and pull it off? Their game day fit. You know, honestly, I would probably do Pat O'Connor for sure, though. Why Pat? Why is Pat getting all this love in this segment? You know, because Pat, Pat do a lot of dorky stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he would do some, yeah, he would do something like that for sure. Uh, so wait, so tell me for real, does this team have any vibe of a, I know you don't want to get ahead of yourself, but does it have mm -hmm. any sort of feeling for the future like you had that year you won the Super Bowl? Uh, Magic we just, right honestly, not really, you know, uh, you know, like I said, man, we dug ourselves in the hole, so we're just trying to focus on one game at a time right now. Uh, we're not looking ahead. We're just focusing on the right now. We got Seattle. We about to play. Who's been, yeah. like you said, on fire? Got great. Got some great players. And they're doing a lot of great job. You know, as a team. Are you going to be the team that brings this Geno party to an end? Hey, man, we try to. You know what I'm saying? We want to, and uh, we're gonna work at it. Levante, yeah. we are such big fans. You are amazing, and we are wishing all the best things for you. Thank you so much for making time. No problem, Kate. Thank you. Go do it. Go get it done. Yeah. Bye, Levante. <laughs>